بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا ویڈیو سیشن آف کینٹا پبلشر کینٹا پبلشر آر دا لیڈرز آف ون کریکولم اینڈ ون نیشن دا ریسورسز یو نیڈ از دا ٹیکسٹ بک فار انگلش گریڈ ون دا ورک بک فار انگلش گریڈ ون اینڈ دا سمر پیک فار انگلش گریڈ ون الانگ ود یو کین ہیو ہیلپ اینڈ سپورٹ فرام آور ریسورس پیک وچ از اویلیبل آن آور ویب سائٹ یو کین ڈاؤن لوڈ اٹ اینڈ کیپ اٹ فار یور ریفرنس to facilitate and guide your students. Grade 1, Chapter 2. The name of the unit is Provinces of Pakistan. The unit Provinces of Pakistan is on page number 9 of the textbook. So far, there were four lectures for this chapter. Lecture number 1 was nouns. Lecture number 2 was singular and plural. Lecture number 3 was comprehension and lecture number 4 is about prepositions which we are going to do today. Unit 2, Provinces of Pakistan, lecture number 4 and it's the last lecture for this unit. I hope whatever we have done so far in lecture 1, 2 and 3 was clear for you and you did learn a lot. Let's hope that we can put all of it together. Lecture number 4. Let's read out the SLO. Write appropriate naming and action words to identify an object or an action in a picture. That means the skill we are going to use today is writing. But before writing something, we need to repeat and revise naming and action words to identify an object or an action in a picture. So we will be doing picture reading as well. I hope that would be interesting for you too because I really enjoy picture reading. For that reason we have a small section of preposition in the book also which is textbook page number 14, workbook pages 10 and 11 and the summer pack page number 15 for your extra activity time at home. So the SLO says write appropriate naming and action words to identify an object or an action in a picture. Appropriate means correct. Let's do some recalling from the previous lectures and from the previous grade as well. We did naming words. I will highly appreciate that if you participate and do recall those words and those um, actions we have learned so far. Action words. Naming words are called nouns. Yes, and action words are called verbs. Naming words, nouns, action words, verbs. So if we have to understand the SLO, that when we are going to write something correct about a naming or an action word, we need to know that we will be talking further about nouns and verbs. There will be some examples as well. So we will go one by one. Let's talk about some action words. Action words known as verbs. Senna is eating and apple. Verbs are the doing words. Doing. Most of the times there is an ing at the end which is a way to remember which word in a sentence can be a verb. So can you find a word in this sentence which has ing at the end. Eating. 
This is the action she is doing. Let me give you another example. Ali is playing with a ball. Let's keep our focus for some time with the action words and then as a revision we will also repeat the naming words. Another sentence is, is in front of you. Ali is playing with a ball. If you try to go back to what I just explained that verbs are doing words. There is usually an ing at the end of the verb. The action, the activity, the movement or the thing which is keeping the person or the object busy. Ali is playing with the ball. Let's get another example because the more the better. The cat is jumping on the bed. The cat is jumping on the bed. The cat is jumping on the bed. There are some boys running on the road. Can you spot or find another ing word in this sentence? There are some boys running on the road. The word running, yes. This is the action those boys are doing. So it's called a action word or the term is known as verbs. So let's have a recap. Nouns are people, places, objects or things. People, places, could be animals or feelings, verbs are the actions which are happening with the noun, running, eating, Sleeping, dancing, drinking, and so on. So, nouns help us to talk about the pe people, places, and things in a sentence, and verbs tell us what that person or animal is doing. Now let's come to the topic which is on our book about prepositions. Prepositions is another topic in the grammar section of English language and it's a really interesting one and a simple one to remember as well. What object, what noun do you see in poster number one? There's an object, a thing which is red in color, changing its location and position because this is known as prepositions. Inside this circle, the apple is between two squares, two yellow squares. In this circle, 
the apple is in front of the green rectangle. In this circle, the apple is behind the green rectangle. Now the apple has moved to the left of the purple box or square. Now the apple is moved under or below the green rectangle. The apple is on top of the rectangle. The apple is next to the yellow square and the apple now is on the right side or to the right of the purple square. Prepositions tell you the position of the object or the noun in the sentence. These are the most common words between, in front of, behind, to the left of, under or below, on, next to, to the right, on the top, in the back, in the front. There are many, many words which can be used as prepositions. So for further practice, you can see some magnified picture on the board. Have a good look at the picture. There are some objects, some nouns in the picture. There are some animals in the pictures. There are some objects or things in the picture which are having a position. And these three, and these one, two, three, four, five words, we are going to use them to complete this task and practice the concept of preposition. The first word is on, near, next to, behind, under. I'll repeat on, near, next to, behind, under. And now we are going to attempt these fill in the blanks together by looking at that picture. I'm going to read out loud and then fill it in front of you. The owl is dash the bed. The owl is dash the bed. The ball is dash the table. The gift is dash the dog. The dog is dash the table. The ball is dash the bag. The cat is hiding dash the bed. The bag is dash the table. The answer to these blanks are in this box. Sometimes the same preposition can be repeated. So that is not a problem. The owl is dash the bed. Where is the owl? Is the owl on, near, next to, behind or under? The owl is laying on the bed. The ball is dash the table. Can you spot the ball in the picture? Right here. Now select the position and the correct preposition. Is it on, near, next to, behind or under? It's on the table. The gift is dash the dog. Can you spot the gift in the picture? Yes, this green color box is the gift. So the gift is dash the dog. This is the dog. So which preposition can fit in? The front of the dog is here. So this is at the back. And the word used will be behind. The dog is dash the table. 
the dog is under the table the ball is dash the bag the ball is next to the bag next to the cat is hiding dash the bed the cat is hiding dash the bed behind the bag is dash the table the bag is dash the table on the table the owl is on the bed the ball is on the table the gift is behind the dog the dog is under the table the ball is next to the bag the cat is hiding behind the bed the bag is on the table we go on to the next slide a little more practice can you spot what is trying to hide under the box between the box under the box between the boxes out or close to the box inside or in the box above the box behind the box on the box in front of the box the cat is under the box the bird is between the boxes the cat is out or close to the box the cat is inside the box the bird is above the box the cat is behind the box the bird is sitting on the box this cat is in front of the box so the action words under between above behind on these are some of the prepositions which are shown in these pictures you can go back to this video as many times as you want to and look at the concepts or the words which are given so that you can understand and sort of memorize the words let's practice a little bit more the sleepers are dash the bed let me zoom the picture for you so that you can have a look at it the sleepers are dash the bed the bed is dash the shelf the girl is dash the bus the cat is dash the chair the ball is dash the bat the decor is dash the bed the sleepers are under the bed the shelf is besides the bed the girl with the bus the cat is under the chair the ball is with the bat the decor is above the bed this was just a little practice for you so that you are able to attempt the next page of the book 
textbook, page number 14. Preposition. Preposition is a word that links a noun or a pronoun with another word in a sentence. The book is on the table. I go to the park daily. My father lives in Islamabad. The girl is standing behind the tree. So the prepositions in these lines are on, to, in, and behind. The color of the prepositions on your book page is also red so that you can differentiate and find them easily. On, to, in, behind. Let's move on to page number 14. The bottom part of the same page. There's a small activity, a small question. We're going to attempt it now. Fill in the blanks with the correct prepositions given below. Fill in the blanks with the correct prepositions given below. To, behind, on, in. In is typed twice, so we can use it twice too. Front. My hat is dash my head. She sits dash my room. You are very kind dash me. The boy is standing dash off his house. The bus is dash the car. So let's try to fill it up with the right answers. We have to pick the words which are given to us in this box. So we will read very carefully and go one by one. Sentence A. My hat is dash my head. Is your hat in front? In the head? In the head? On the head? Behind the head? Or to the head? So the first word is on the head. I'm writing it here so that you can have a look. And then I'll zoom it later so that you can have a good look at it. And then you can correct your word. She sits dash in my room. In my room. Yeah. You're very kind to me. The boy is standing dash off his house. In front. The bus is dash the car. The bus is behind the car. The bus is behind the car. I'll zoom it for you so you can have a better look at it. My hat is on my head. She sits in my room. You're very kind to me. The boy is standing in front of his house. The bus is behind the car. Once you're done, we'll try to attempt the workbook page ourselves here right now in the class. Let me zoom the page number again for you. It's page number 10 of the workbook as mentioned earlier. If you remember in the beginning I told you we will be doing some picture reading. And now it's time for the picture reading section. Look at the pictures, pick a preposition from the word bank and put it under the relevant picture. Ask your siblings to help you if they're around you, else this lesson is good enough that you can try to attempt it on your own. The words given inside the box are in, on, behind, under. There's a girl, there's a ring, there's a cat, there's a book. All of these pictures you have to identify the preposition for the noun in the picture. So look, let's look at picture number one. The girl is, can you spot the girl in the picture? Yes. The girl is behind the tree. So you can write the word behind 
on the blank. Please follow the four line instructions and write it neatly. The ring is in the box. The cat is under the chair. The book is on the table. Please check your work. I've zoomed the picture in. The girl is behind the tree. Ring is in the box. Cat is under the chair. Book is on the table. Well done. Let's move on to the homework section now. I repeat, you can see the whole lesson once again and become confident enough to do the summer pack homework all by yourself. For that reason, you need to have the summer pack page number 14 and 15 as a homework. If you have done the activity of the textbook and the workbook in the classroom with me, that, and then I assure you, you can definitely do the workbook page all by yourself and feel proud of yourself. I'm just going to show you the page numbers so that you can relate it to them. If you have the summer pack with you right now, please open it and have a look. The SLO is mentioned here. On this part of the page and the question you have to do was see the pictures below and write naming word or action word for them I'll zoom it for you see the pictures below and write naming word or action word for them now have a good look at the picture and then what action is this child doing this activity, you have to name this activity. Remember, it will be a word with ing. It's an action word. He's doing something. This boy is trying to do what you are doing right now. So, there is a word for it. I will not say it. It's Let's see how are you going to do it. This animal, I hope you know what is the name of this animal. This boy is also doing something there will be an action word here and this is an object you take with you to school or you keep your books inside it there's a name for this object which is your task you have to do so that's all for today let's have a recap of lecture number four what is preposition Preposition is a word that links a noun or a pronoun with another word or sentence. They are also known as connecting words. Thank you. I hope we have learned together. It was nice to be with you. See you soon. Take care and don't forget to do your homework. Allah Hafiz.